Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Taisha with Organized Plans. Um, I wanted to start off by thanking all of my returning subscribers for spending some time with me today. Um, and if you're new to my channel and haven't subscribed yet, I would love to have you. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be decorating my classic catch-all happy planner for the week of February 6th through the 12th. So if you'd like to join me in this plan with me, then let's get started. Okay, so um, in today's video, I'm going to be using um, the sticker book um, from Keleva Plan, the Watercolor Boxes, um, Watercolor Boxes and Floors Volume 2 Jewel Tone. Um, there's some really um, pretty stickers here that, although this book has, I think, a lot more fall vibes, there's one set in here that I think would be really pretty for um, February. Um, I'm also going to be pulling some boxes from Mojo Jojo Plans, her autumn boxes. This is the first, um, oh no, this is actually the 2.0. Um, it came out um, this past fall. Uh, and then I probably will pull a quote um, from this Gentle Reminders um, sticker book from the Happy Planner. This came out as part of the winter release from um, 2022. And um, beyond that, I have just my uh, wax paper and tools on the side. So we'll go ahead and um, flip to um, this week and get the pages off the disc. Um, and we'll start with just pulling our stickers and, uh, and we'll get going. So I hope everyone is having a good day um, today. Um, for this week, uh, thankfully, it is not going to be too busy for me, um, which I'm happy about. Um, so in in this Watercolor Boxes and Floors Volume 2, I'll just give a quick flip through. I have used some of the sets in here. Um, as I said, I think a number of them kind of have that fall vibe um, to it. But I'm going to go for this set at the very back. Um, I think it starts uh, yeah, on this page here. So we have the boxes um, that coordinate with the t uh, florals, um, some long, some ones that go across the, the top and then for the corners. Um, so these are what I'm gonna start with pulling. Just grab another piece of wax paper as well. And I just love these colors so much. Um, it still has a little bit of blue in here, which is perfect because we're still in winter. Um, but then it has like these different shades of pink and a little bit of this like plum purple. So I just think these colors are so nice and perfect for February. Um, I'm using just these tweezers here just to kind of grab at the corner and pull them up a little bit more easily. Um, the stickers are pretty thin, which is nice, but super sticky. <laughs> um, and I think I'm going to pull maybe this one here as well. And so bring that on. Okay, and then maybe another for the corner. Kind of have an idea in mind of the layout I want to do, but yeah, we'll just see how it all comes together. Okay, so we'll start there. And then for the boxes, I think I want to use, um, and I love Heather's books because she's got boxes and like the bullet points everything's here um this this mauvey pink is just like so pretty so I'm gonna bring a bullet point in for that I'm oh, sorry a box in for that I think the blue I don't know I kind of just love all of these colors together um 
maybe a green as well. Um, I like this combination a lot. So I'm gonna pull this in too. And then we will hold on to these. Okay, I'll just move this to the side for the moment. And then also, I think this, um, let's see here. So looking at this, um, I think this, this looks like this plum here. And so maybe what we'll do is pull, always like checklist um, throughout the week and weekend, just bring in that functional element. So I'll bring that in as well. I think that combination looks really nice. So, um, and if we need any more boxes, um, we definitely have them. Maybe I'll just pull in um, a couple of smaller ones as well. Okie dokie. So I think with um, Heather, her florals are just such a large size. So they make, um, they fill in the spread really easily. It makes planning easy and fast. So I'm going to start with just white, whiting out um, this section here this week. I typically don't use that. And I think what I want to do is I want to bring this um, on the sidebar here. Um, I'm just going to bring this closer to me just so I can line it up. And then... As I said, even with putting these stickers on the wax paper, they are still super sticky. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. Wow. Um, just like so bold. And I just have this um, gift card from Starbucks. I'm just going to press it down further. Um, so it just kind of seals it onto the page. Um, and then I think what I want to do is start bringing in some boxes. So, and one thing I did not grab was some washi, but let me do that now. I think I want to use this polka dot washi here. I think that would look really nice. Um, and I think I just, let's see. Uh, I think I want it a little bit thinner. So I'm actually going to just grab my trimmer, a paper cutter rather, and just, um, Put the washi on here and just put a strip going across and then I want to just slice it down the middle just to make that a little bit thinner and maybe what we'll do is we will kind of line the bottom and the top let's see okay it's kind of covering off um okay i think we will i don't want to pull up the sticker um so we'll just kind of go it'll just overlap just a little bit but that's okay and then we're going to use just the exacto knife just to trim it down right on the side of the page I'm loving it already all right and then I'll just grab another piece the other piece 
cover half of this and just bring this down to the bottom. Okay. And same thing, I'll just trim it. And I probably will kind of do a similar effect on the other side, but we'll kind of see as we go. Okay, I like that. Um, so why don't we work on the right side a little bit as well. Okay. And, okay, yeah, I think I want to put it just right in the corner. Just line it up. Okay, that looks nice. And I'm gonna smooth it down. Okay. And then I'm going to just do, again, that same bit. Probably don't need quite as much washi, but um, for the uh, right side of the page. I'll slice it down just to cut it down some. Okie dokie. Grab a thinner piece. And we'll just put that, yep, kind of right along this edge here. As I said, I don't have a ton going on this week. Um, I know I'm planning to watch um, the Super Bowl on Sunday here. Definitely an Eagles fan, so we'll see how they do. <laughs> and um, maybe what I'll do is I'll take this piece and just put it on the opposite corner. I think that will look nice and then I can go on with the polka dot okay so we'll just kind of frame that and the rest of the washi here just put that going across and again just trim it and we'll trim it. We'll see if we want to use any of these little extra pieces, but I love it. Oh, this looks so nice. Okay, um, now let me just smooth this down as well. Okay. Okay, so now I think we will put in our boxes and I think I want to start with just notating for uh, I think I want to just notate for yeah let's put this box here okay and then an item here. And actually, I think I wanna just wipe that out a little bit just so the darker color doesn't show through. Okay, that looks good. Um, I do wanna put a checklist here as well. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll kind of put it underneath the polka dots and just trim off that little bit that um, hangs over. I just love how these colors have come together. So a Checklist there. 
another checklist I think on Saturday I typically have just a lot of running around and errands groceries just all the usual stuff for the week um, I think I want to bring in this blue too over here down at the bottom and then maybe um, I'm thinking maybe the green, but maybe what I'll do is I'll just put a couple bullet points there using the green. Um, just lift this up just to straighten this out a little bit. Let's try it again. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, so now I'm back over to the left side and we have kind of our same colors and boxes so just kind of bring this over into here and as I said I did want to have a quote so I think I'm going to pull that as well because um, these are really large quotes in this sticker book so um, but the one that I saw uh, kind heart, brave soul. Um, I just like the uh, the mention of heart. <laughs> it feels kind of Valentine. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. Okay, and then maybe this love today as well. Yeah, that's pretty. So we'll kind of use both of these. I think I do have room. Here for this one. Okay, love today. Just press that down a little bit further. And then on now on this side. So maybe what I'll do, say in the center, but I think if you didn't see last week's video when I um, was pulling the pages out of this planner to decorate last week's um, spread, I actually ripped the pages, but nothing that uh, a sticker <laughs> over top of it can't, can't solve. So um, I'm glad just kind of put that there to cover it up and make sure it stays intact. Um, so I think what I want to do is maybe put this one here and then this box. Okay, so we'll just do our white out again. Okay. And then I think I want to bring the quote in right here. So, okay, I think that could work. Okay, so I'm going to just put that down as well. I'm definitely, I love decorating my planner, but also making sure that I keep it functional. Okay, so I think that'll work there. And then again, um, we can bring in a checklist. My week typically gets busier as the week goes on. So the checklist will help me. It's a little crooked, so I just wanna straighten it out. Just a smidge, okay. And then, okay, I think that will work. Maybe. Okay, so I do have this jelly roll um, just to kind of clear the line a little bit. I did have that, um, I think it was Sarasa white pen. 
that I used up, so I do need to get another one of those because I feel like it did work a bit better than the jelly roll. But um, make this work for today. Okay. All right, so while that dries, I'm gonna go back into Heather's book and just pull some of the bullet points that I mentioned. I think this pop of green would be nice. So I'll just um, grab these, just a handful, kind of stick them around the page. So I have my florals, boxes, checklists, quotes, and now bullet points. Just grab tweezers. I think I'll do two here. One, two. And then I think I wanna do another two up here, or maybe one up there. Um, okay, let's see how much space I have with this quote. Okay, better. Great. Okay, and then we'll just move this in. Okay, so I think I'm going to do two up at the top as well, and then two over here. And then I think we have it all in here. I think we have it all done. Okay, I didn't use this other big big floral, but I think that's okay. Um, and I really like it. I really like how this came out this week. So um, I hope you do as well. I love to hear what you think down in the comments below um, and so just want to thank you again very much for watching um, today and if you haven't subscribed yet would love to have you um, also over on instagram at organize underscore plans if you want to give me a follow over there and uh, and again look forward to engaging with you in the comments and thank you again so much for watching and i hope you have a great day bye friends